every series has that little portable kid sibling that, for whatever reason, never quite made it out of the parents' basement and has just been languishing in obscurity and drinking all the milk right from the carton. The schmuck. It's Atomic Punk, or it's Harvest Moon GB, or it's the planet-laden Mega Man 5. That was a Roman numeral, even if you didn't hear me inflect it as such. But usually these are standalone games that don't really muck up the original canon by trying to be direct sequels. Star Ocean Blue Sphere, now the only Star Ocean game not released in the West, mucks up the perfectly sensible four to eight endings of Star Ocean the Second Story, whichever you actually saw, and brings the gang back together for one last Game Boy Color romp through space! Or so it would seem until your crew crash lands on a seemingly undeveloped planet, the same planet Ernest and Opera crashed on, funny enough. As you go to find the lovebirds with six eyes between them, you meander through ruins, around towns, through forests... And a frickin' ride armor? Honestly, Precious, what happened to that Prime Directive cough, I mean, undeveloped planet protection pact? You banking on the fact that your craft crashed close enough to the outskirts of town that the jig is up already? I'm sorry, I couldn't make out your response, as you seem to be trying to jam highly condensed kanji into a font that can't really handle it. It's a pain to make out, even run through a Super Game Boy, and it's no better on the small, small screen. That said, this is a Star Ocean game, so despite some rather suspect plot considerations and or a difficult time making out exactly what ideographic character that's supposed to be, there is, in fact, some cool RPG-style gameplay. Your party is reduced to three for this outing, though you've pretty much got the entire cast of SO2 to choose from, save for the missing Ernest and Opera, of course, and Claude and Rena, who have better things to do. Nudge, nudge. Each enemy's limbs and vital areas are tracked separately, and while some of the combat can become admired in faulty collision detection, it's a pretty healthy attempt to boil the real-time action of the console series down a bit, using a similarly detailed and true-to-form skill system. If only the Star Ocean series hadn't well, I'm not going to go down that road. There's a reason Second Story is the one everyone likes, and this cute little side Second Story is certainly an interesting diversion, especially if you like making your eyes hurt. <laughs> 